right, the first step in setting up a shop, knife shop, it's important to find a really cool location first. Like somewhere that looks like, maybe looks like Hobbiton or something like that. You know, looks like the Shire. This is pretty close. All right, part two, of course, of putting together a knife shop, proper dress. Gotta look the part. You can keep your snacks in there. Part three, planning phase. Part four, obviously, lighting, crucial to everything. Good lighting makes all the difference in a shop. Personally, I found that LED lights work the best. Especially over your main workspace, which the grinder is where I do 90% of my work. So, or 80, 80%. Most of my shaping of all materials, titanium, handle material, metal, whatever, is done right here on the grinder. Positioning and all that good stuff, I put mine by the back door and the window with an LED overhead. Makes for a whole different experience when trying to get those details and tiny scratches out prior to buffing. On that subject, over here my buff, my buffer, my main buffer, I also have secondary light, window for a light source, secondary LED light, and I have a spotlight I can move around which is mounted somewhere around here or hanging out, which I can move around independently for catch it, catching those little bitty tiny imperfections as you're buffing. Super important. All right, let's talk about the main tools you're gonna need in a knife shop. Number one, a, a grinder, two by 72 belt grinder. With corresponding belts, I go from 36 grit up to cork belts and you know, like scratch bright fine finish 2500 grit belts. So everything in between, you're gonna need your belts readily available on a rack in front or near is where I put mine. Two by 72 belt grinder with a wheel and a flat grinding attachment. I find to be ideal. You can do just about everything with a wheel and a flat grind. It's also nice to have, as a backup, secondary wheels. Small little guys like this that you can swap out and do like uh, more intricate and detailed portions of grinding with. That's really, really helpful. So three tool arms at most. Regular wheel, which is a 10 inch, um, which I can swap out with a 12 or an eight. A flat grinding uh, attachment with a flat platen, and then the small wheel attachment. Holes, holes are important. You need to be able to drill holes. Straight, true, perpendicular, and square. Something like this, KDP Jet, uh, Jet KDB 12, um, long swing on it, nice handle, nice chuck, all the things, simple, clean, straight holes. That's how you attach your handle material. Which brings me to the nitty gritty of all of this. You have to have materials to work with. Otherwise, you're making something out of thin air. Knives made out of thin air are a lot like ceramic and titanium knives. They're basically useless. All right, for handle materials, I prefer Micarta. This is a green canvas Micarta. This is black linen Micarta. This is like the bread and butter of handle material. Lasts a long time, super dense, super stable, won't warp, shrink, crack, all those good things. Waterproof, acid proof for the most part, and all, those, all that kind of stuff. It's very stable material. It's inexpensive and it will last forever. This is good stuff. Buy it by the sheet, you won't regret it. Other options do include stabilized hardwoods, that kind of thing. Personally, I prefer Micarta for a using knife. Or G10. G10's fiberglass, so it's kind of caustic, or caus, 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 caustaceous, caustic, caustic. It sucks, it gets in your lungs. And the piece de resistance, the most important part of a knife, the steel. What steel you use and choose 
is up to you. There's a lot of options out there. I've talked about them in other videos. But the steel is the heart and soul of a knife. I prefer either CPM 154 or WL 34 154CM ATS 34 series of steels. 154CM as well. I prefer either that series of stainless steels or a high carbon like W2 1084. There's a lot of good options out there. 80 CRV2, 1095, take your pick. You can't go wrong with a lot of the steels out there. You're gonna need the steel. And you're gonna need heat in the knife shop, which I've covered in another video um, about heat treating and inexpensive, simple heat treating setups with either a forge or a kiln. This is your bread and butter, steel. You can't make a knife without the steel. This section, kind of subjective, but you're gonna need hand tools and work holding. A nice vise, right there. Bits and bobbles and bings and booms. An electrochemical etching machine back there. Tape right there, super important. Tape is super important. Various taps and files and saws and you know, yada yada yada. More files, hand files here. Also super important, hand files. Various scraps of tools and random things. Clamps, can never have enough clamps. Can't stress this enough, never enough clamps. More clamps here, more clamps here, and more clamps there. Never enough clamps. And then secondarily, another work holding source right there, which this is a swiveling knife maker's vise right there. Very stinking hand. That little guy you see in the background there, that guy, not necessary. That's a mill, that's a mini mill. Not exactly necessary. Lastly, let's talk about epoxy and design. Epoxy is super important. You gotta have it. It's how you glue everything together. And design. Now, not everybody's a designer, not everybody's an artist, but a good, simple drawing setup is very handy in the conception of knives. I prefer Bristol paper, uh, smooth or vellum, whatever. You can draw really good patterns on it. They will last for a very long time. They're a little more sturdier than regular paper. And draw everything to size. Get yourself a good ruler. Get yourself some compasses and protractor type of things like this. Some good pencils and erasers. And you're ready to design knives. All right, this is by no means an all-inclusive video on every single thing you could possibly need to set up a knife shop, including a straight camera. It's just an introduction to get you ready to set up your knife shop to make your first knife. In the coming video series, I'm gonna cover knife making from the ground up. Basics all the way through advanced stuff, including titanium frame locks, hidden tangs, the whole nine yards. I'm attempting to rebuild this channel back to the meat and taters of what it was first started as in its glory days as a pure knife making channel to cover every aspect of how to make handmade, handcrafted custom knives. Thank you for joining me again, and I will catch you in the next video.